D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and now in this video I'm going to be showing you how to wire up this motor this is a ZL a big ABEG <laughs> I can't even pronounce it but you, see, you can see the name here I'm going to show you this is a um, two speed Y Delta um, three phase motor again it's a two speed Y Delta three phase motor and this is the manufacturer is a German company ZL Z E Z E Z I E H L A B E G A B E G G. That's it. All right. So before we get into the video, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and smash the bell icon so when I upload videos like these, you get it right away. So here you go, guys. Out of the box, this is how this is how the motor comes out of the box. Right? It has. Never mind these, these are my power connections and my incoming wires. Uh, but you have everything as you see as is out of the box. And this configuration right now, how it is, it is in delta configuration. So that means it's gonna be running at high speed. In the Y configuration, it runs at low speed. If you have questions regarding how to wire this motor up, just leave it in the comment section, right? So, zoom in. Okay. So, uh, let's look at the right here. This is a low speed slash Y connection low speed slash Y connection let me zoom in some more now be advised that uh, the these wires this right here is a sensor a thermal cutoff so if the motor windings get too hot then this thermal cutoff will open it's a, it's a, I believe it's a normally close contacts um, switch or perhaps it's normally open doesn't matter uh, just know that this is a thermal switch if the motor overheats this switch will activate or deactivate all right questions leave in the comment comment section all right so just note that these wires here are um orange brown red blue is it gray or green uh, yeah gray gray yeah gray in black these wires are permanent they're always on the same terminals you know see what they are w1 v2 v1 u2 u1 w2 so these these wires they don't change terminals they always remain there all right in in both y and delta configuration or are, are, are low and high speed configuration see black is down here in the high speed or delta same over here these wires remain the same gray is the same thing same terminal all right they don't change okay so in the this motor in order for this unit to accomplish this unit this particular unit um, that I'm working on right now it automatically selects low and high speed on demand and but in your situation, you may not want to, or you may not have the same setup in your situation where your equipment automatically selects high and low speed. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're going to use this motor with a uh, VFD drive, then you have to leave it exactly how it is out of the box. Because out of the box, it comes with full power, high speed, delta connection. This configuration right here. Okay. As you can see, you got a jumper between W and v2 or that's uh gray and black all right and uh, 
can see right here black and gray and a jumper another one between blue and orange right there uh, blue and red apologies and then another one between uh, brown and orange brown and I guess that's yellow it's yellow <laughs> I don't know my colors whatever but you get that that's all the that comes out of the box high speed Delta if you got a VFD you have to leave it that way I don't see why you wouldn't I say you do it all right now if you're looking to do low speed or Y connection then you will um, remove these jumpers all of these brown jumpers take them out it's brown wires this one this one and this one all three jumpers you'll remove and then what you'll do is put in a jumper from W2 uh, to uh, U, uh, U2 and V2 so you're gonna put it you could you could take one wire from here add a, add a wire here or had another wire here and had another wire here three wires and then combine them with a wire nut so you're going to combine whichever way you like i prefer w2 uh, u2 and v2 and um, that's going to configure the motor for the y connection or low speed and then of course clearly you can see we're going to bring l1 to u1 and L2 to V1 and L3 to W1 and that's it you're in low speed okay Y connection and for you uh, when you're in Delta connection or high speed same thing line, uh, line one goes to U1 uh, line two goes to V1 right and line three goes to W1 and you can see that that didn't change either in either configuration line goes to the same terminals uh, it goes to uh, the compressor just turned off thank you you know this is my channel real world i don't do editing so that's background noise background music okay so yeah so line goes to the same terminals regardless of the configuration are you low as you can see now that's pretty much it for these guys then i mean i'm gonna wire it up right now in my situation um the system it automatically uh um Silex iron low speed that's the reason why i have all these wires here i got so many wires look right that's that makes it possible because there's three contactors that's controlling this this fan motor here three three contactors combined to to, to be able to select um i and low speed okay automatically so i'm going to remove all jumpers for my situation no jumpers the contactor will be doing the jumping and i can explain so what do I, what, when two contactors engage in my setup i'll explain so one contactor bring three phase line one line two line three to these terminals w1 v1 and u1 so that's one contactor three phase contactor then a second contactor as you can see that all we're doing in the delta connection is that we're taking line one and shunting it to w1 and we're taking v1 and shunting it to w i mean u2 and w1 to v2 so a second contactor so one contactor bring three phase to these u1 v1 w1 and a second contactor bring the same uh line one it takes the same line one and brings it to w2 it takes line two and brings it to u2 and it takes line three and brings it to v2 so two contactors engage and bring three phase power to all these six terminals that's high speed then when you go to um low speed now there is what we call a shorting contactor so the third contactor is a shorting contactor so what's going to happen is one contactor is going to energize and bring line one 
line two, line three, respectively W, um, U1, to V1, and W, W1. All right, so that's one contactor, three phase power over there. And then a second contactor, which is a shorting contactor. So, you know, basically on one end of the contactor, uh, you connect it, you know, three, three terminals together, make a jump or splice. So they are shunted, all three terminals, terminals are shunted. And then when that, when that contactor pulls in, you know, one of the wire from the contactor, maybe you could say this one is going to be um, L2, and this one is going to be uh, perhaps L1, and then this one is going to be L3 from the contactor. When So when the contactor pulls in, the opposite, the opposite end of the contactor, all three terminals are shorted. So let's say you short T1, T2, T3 together, shun it together. Once it pulls in, the contactor is going to do the same thing. It's going to short create a short across all these um, V2, U2, and W2. That's it. Two contactors, low speed. Two contactors, high speed. So that takes care of that. Video is done. Alright, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Videos uploaded on a weekly basis.